Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode in my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. Now today I am going to work on the AI for this farmer character. Now as you can see, he is randomly working, working on his farm and do some work. Yeah, let me place couple of other characters to demonstrate easily okay now we can see so this guy is working here and this guy is here He is now working here and this guy working somewhere off right so this is the AI system I am going to do today and I am going to use uh, behavior trees for this And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. So as for the working animations of the farmer, I'm gonna use this uh, plant seed animation, this one, without skin this one and also this one well let's use couple of them This doesn't look good. Uh -huh. Doesn't matter. Okay, now let's import those animations into the project. Okay, and now here are the animations. Let's preview to see if everything working fine. Yeah, they works fine. Okay, now how do we use these animations to show working? So, okay. First, let me open the civilian character. And they are in the character interface all right so i haven't added the character in interface here so first i'll add ppi character interface okay so now here we have a bunch of other functions defined in the interface so yeah here let's add a new function called work all right now let's implement that function
event here as work so here get the mesh play animation montage so here I'll play the work in animation montages so let's create animation montages from them right now we have the animation montages mm, I think I should make them loop Oh no, that's not necessary. Okay, now let's let me promote this to a variable. I'll call it work montages. Let's uh, make it an array. And let's get and random element from this array so how do we get a random element like this random integer with the max is being the length is it inclusive yeah max is being the length of this montages array so then like this uh, if i add five animation montages here I will have five animations here then and a random animation will be selected from them and will be played here so let me add the animation montages we have four one two right so uncompleted let's set the delay well let's make this also a random float and range so let's make this character wait 5 to 10 seconds and then do another work in montage Ooh, wait a minute do I have to do it like that no let's not do it like this let's control this behavior in the AI so here it will do only the planting part all right now let's go to the AI of this character so um, before going to this sequence let's add a selector like this so as for the variable in this selector I think I'll use yeah I need a new key let's add a new boolean key I'll call it work and then here in the selector um, let's add another sequence and this sequence should be executed only if I am working so let's add a decorator here to check the 
a blackboard based condition is set work so if working is set to true if the working is set whatever I define here will be executed so here I'll add another blackboard based condition is not set working that means if he is not working the character will continue to move to another random location and wait and then go back and execute once again so now here if work is set I'll first in the selector let's add a service oh we don't have a service here a service to set the decorate uh, the blackboard value work to true or false randomly so that's the service I want to add here so let's create a new service like this where is it okay s set working add event receive activation uh, no not this one receive activation AI yeah this one so if this is true no not true here I'll I have to set the working montage working variable so I'll define a blackboard key here blackboard key selector I'll call this BB key set blackboard value as pool so here I'll set this value as a random boolean value so now we'll ra I will randomly get where to work or not to work in this service so set working now I'll add that service here as set working all right now it is set to work then I have to um, create another task so let's define another task let's call it T work now here also we have to use this event event execute event receive execute AI and now here in the controlled pawn let's call work using the BPI character interface and then let's add a delay of let's say 5 seconds then finish execute alright now let's at the task work t work 
Mm, I think I forgot one thing. I have to set the blackboard key that goes inside this set working service. Yeah. like this work shall we see if that works okay it seems the character is not doing anything okay but he's working but not doing anything all right I didn't set up the characters animation blueprint to play montages and one more thing here I have to set up what to do if this is uh, if this condition is any different so I think on value change I have to abort both so on value change abort both now let's set up the characters animation blueprint to play montages so that's not very hard slot yeah to forget the default slot and connect that's all okay shall we check what happens now okay now he is doing the work mm. wait why is he ah, okay maybe he's colliding with something Let's see. He is working randomly but not doing the work. All right, let me check. So yeah, this uh, set working condition is tick every 40, for point 0.4 to point 0.6 seconds. So maybe I should wait. Not that. Yeah, maybe it is wrong to do it here because uh, as I have said here on value changed this aborts the current node and the lower priority nodes so yeah mm -hmm. yeah let's uh, do a print here so that we can see if it is being called in each second each tick so then we should do something about that ok 
okay why am i not getting any prints here <laughs> okay so i figured i figured out what's wrong so yeah if i put the set work in here it will be executed uh, this service will be called only once and so yeah that would be it so therefore i should add the service set work in one instance here and another instance yeah maybe after calling here or here so no matter the place so i'll just set it here right and uh, now it should work let's see now he should randomly go somewhere do some work and go somewhere do some work he should do it like that so yeah as you can see he is doing some work here and going somewhere else and doing some work but he's running that is not natural so I need to do something about that mm, I'll come to that in a bit okay he is going off the farm as well now he's working there all right that's okay we can fix that all right so now I just as you just saw that's his behavior so now to prevent running yeah maybe in the character moment I can set the max warp speed to instead of 600 I'll set it to 300 now he should work let's see yeah now he's working walking instead of running see what a good farmer Why isn't he moving anywhere? Yeah, that's because we always get the same response here. But it is random. Yeah. Now as you can see, he is working. Maybe he will work some more before start working. Now he's doing something there. All right, so this is what I wanted to do for today. And I'll stop this episode at this point. So if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of my Patreon club. Link would be in the description below. And the privileges, the benefits you would have, I have listed them here. So and I released a new episode in a new source code release for the civilian character and the farm I'll do another release with the AI as well and also another release in third person shooter series and yeah so thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye